I got issues, I got problems, I got issues, I got problems, I got problems, I got issues, I got issues, I got problems, evaluating myself. Evaluate myself. I got issues, I got problems. Some say I need mental health, I got issues, I got problems. Sometimes I be scared myself, I got issues, I got problems. People say that I'm mental health, I got issues, I got problems. Evaluating myself, I got issues, I got problems. Some say I Shoot a lot of people, man. I used to be like blood spots everywhere, so they just start calling me spot. Man. Okay, so where are you, where you originally from? <laughs> I'm from here. Yeah, where are you? Uh, Base Cali, Ocala, Florida. You know what I'm <laughs> it's gonna be worldwide one day, trust me. So, how long you been doing the rapping thing? I've been like rapping all my life, you know, I've been with Condition Red, you know what I'm saying? Group long, a local group a long time ago, you know? Yeah, cost of living. I ain't know that. <laughs> okay. Uh, what originally influenced you to start rapping? Well, actually, what really like made me just say, you know, I'm finna go for this. Like when I seen Fifty Cent, that did it. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, you know, seeing what he went through, you know what I'm saying? It's like that ain't even half of what I done been through. So I was like, man, if he can do it, I know I can do it. You know? Right. So um, you got any hidden talents that most most people don't know about? But most fans that just see you. Well, I used to be a pimp. <laughs> I'm a backsliding preacher. Uh, uh, man, that's a lot of them, man. You know what I'm saying? I got, like, you know, I used to dance. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? I'm just all around hustle. You know what I mean? So, um, you working on any albums right now? Any mixtape? I got like at least three or four mixtapes done, man. I'm like behind time, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just gonna like, like throw singles out and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Okay, what's, what's, your, latest, what's your latest single you working on? Um, you gotta believe that I uh, did like for the kids and stuff. And I was, uh, I got issues. Okay. Uh, so, uh, tell, tell me a little bit more about those projects though. Uh, what motivated you to name them that? Well, you gotta believe so, you know, I I go through so much and then, you know, at the same time it's like I try to focus on what I'm going through at that moment and put it out. And the gotta believe song is like a, it's like for the kids and for those who you know, the people that they the society don't believe in. You know what I mean? So I did a song for you know, to get the motivation out here. And it's like straight positive, you know what I mean? So that's why it's called Gotta Believe and Issues song. <laughs> Everybody got problems, you know what I'm saying? It's called, I got issues, I got problems, you know what I'm saying? So it was like kind of easy to tie that one because I mean, we all go through stuff. All right. So um, as far as when you record your music and when, when, it, when it comes out, how much of your hands do you have on it, like production wise? Like, you, you write everything? Yeah. You, where do you record at? Um, I got various spots, man. I just be hop, skipping, and jumping. <laughs> So uh, I, mean, I know you're on your independent run and everything. I was going to ask you, do you prefer, do you prefer being indif independent over signed a major label? I mean, that's like give it a uh, give or take question because everybody would like to have you know some help on everything around them as an artist. You know what I mean? But it's like if you got your own money, then being independent is is is, is good. You know, but. Being on a major or uh, another label, you know what I'm saying? It's just saying that they they taking care of everything and you just getting your percentage. So it's like this. I would rather be independent, but you know what I'm saying? My bag has to be fat. So uh, on the music, what what motivates you to keep on grinding so hard on music? Because I mean, I'm, I I gave you all my qualities and, and my talent. So I mean, I'd rather I feel more <laughs> more good on stage, man, and. and Giving that energy and that, and that focus on on the fans, you know what I mean. 
So if you're working on anything, um, are there any artists, any, if you could pick any artist, who would you like to work with? I'ma just, I, I, I won't give any names, but I'ma give, if a, if a person is, has been through what I've been through, and, and is going through a lot, that's the people I wanna work with. You know what I'm saying? I wanna work with the people that, 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 that that's, that's, that's kinda like, society hasn't grabbed them and, 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 and comforted them. You know what I'm saying? That's the people I wanna work with. So as far as the name, I can't really say a name, you know what I mean? I know you do your, your performances in there. Where's the liveest uh, performance you ever had? What uh, what city show you most love with your music? Um, I got I got to see games though. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'm I'm from Ocala, but you know people you know in Ocala I, I just done did so much dirt in the three five two that it's like they respect me in Ocala as a street dude, but in Gainesville they love my music more. You know what I mean? So I sit Gainesville, but. As far as the biggest show I did, you know what I'm saying? The biggest show I did was like, I opened up for Ross, Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I gave it some. I think my performance was better than his. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what else can we expect from you in the future? Any projects, any other business ventures? You bring anything else to the table besides rap? And my, you know, clothing line, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Video production of like just like hood stuff, you know what I'm saying? What's your, um, what's your clothing line name? Um, you know, I haven't really came up with that definite name yet, but we working on it. Okay. Uh, any advice you got for any fellow artists or anybody trying to come up on the, on the rap game? The best thing I can tell you is just don't worry about what nobody say. If being an artist or being in the music business, period, is your dream, follow it. No matter if you got money, no matter if you don't have money, just look between all the fall and all the trees, man, and just go hard. It's your boy Spot, career criminal, a real career criminal. Three, maybe five times convicted felon, one more shot gone for life, you know what I'm saying? So um, I'm here, man, in the building. You know what I mean? And I want to let y'all know, man, that I'm here. I'm getting all I got. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could look forward to me coming. I'm coming hard. Whether I got to come by myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming. And y'all just look for anything with that career criminal on it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it is. Career criminal music group. Fuck with me. I be, I be so aggravated, man. I'm me, I go to the club. Listen, man, I'm spending thousands of dollars, man. You know what I'm saying? I go to the bar, man. I'm buying four or five bottles, man. But y'all ain't play my shit, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then I just got, sometimes I just go in there, man, just be ready for somebody to say something. You know what I'm saying? Because I got about 10, 20 niggas. We're going to beat all you motherfuckers up. Especially when you hear them play somebody stupid. Yeah, you? you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, I know, like, but see, this is how I feel. My first city, I was like an amateur. And I understand, you know what I'm saying? But it's like my music after that, it done changed. And I done, I done stepped my shit up, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, man, these yeah. motherfuckers don't respect it. But I look at it like this, like, dope, man. Oh, I might have an ounce or two, you know what I'm saying? But then when I get a brick, you look at me different. Oh, but then when I get 30 to 40, love, oh, you love me. You know what I'm saying? Okay, motherfucker, I'm going to teach you motherfucking around here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I ain't friendly no more. This is what it is. I'm not friendly. I, I My did. manager has her gun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's registered. Would you like to get a picture of that, too? And they call her P. <laughs> P stands for pistol. Oh, goodness. You know what I'm saying, man? It's just like, man, I just be going through so much, man. It's like the devil trying to take me out. You know what I'm saying? But I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. He's a name of Jesus. What you trying to say? He's a name of backsliding preacher. He's asking us we are all Oh, hell. Because if you, if this, this gangster to me, if you talk to God yeah. on a daily basis, yeah. then that's gangster. You know what I'm saying? Gangster when you out here busting, robbing, no, that's that's stupid. Gangster when you talk to God. Right, and you believe in that word. That's that. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's that. Believe in that. <laughs> and I ain't gang banging. <laughs> <laughs>